just what I was going to say. Soon we'll be able to translate those moose behind us. to the witch's house yes the woods with the blood red leaves south of the lake i know just where to go i hope she made it back from alfheim and can bring Lemire back you seem nice before you cut off his head Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer God. Balder! And you fought him and won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. He may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about My the... kind? I mean, your family. Before Mother and I. Where you came from. Mother, a father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Fab. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Do you eat him well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry. So, uh, 
You sticking around for grains of wisdom? Something I'm stewing up for you. If you're smart, you'll find him. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Oh, guess we're not going back to the witch just yet. Did you see something out there? That tower? I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight. Couldn't she? Yes. She fought. Beautifully. Boy. Yes, sir. Kaveka. Spirit. It's talking to us. And it hears you as well. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sailor and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard. 
until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, Spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Paul, he disappeared. Come, let us not be distracted. I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. Know any good stories? Is it past the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You... I haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Some statue. Who built he is it? I do not know.
Got another story? Very well. There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in a saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse, and made a slave of him. We will continue another time. Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. She's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring the head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. I bet this will lead out. Hey, this does more than decipher those moose behind roads. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? Atreus, follow me. Be right there.
Here. Boy. We'll need something to get through this one. I see another one of those bowls of sand up there. That I drew the runes into? Not sure how we reach it. There's something up there. I bet this will lead out. How's it going, Charlie? Is there a witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. That's what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie. Improvement. Can you read it? Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hang. Father. 
Father, she is here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. Now, what's this about a head? Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Pamela! It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well... Thankfully, his head hasn't decayed much, and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water, and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. What? Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Better to tell us the way. The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mamir, 
Why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Speak to the serpent. There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! You scare up that out? Come to a needed finding? Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. He remembers me. Why you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh, ma kuna huntunku. direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Ah, that. He thought I said you were friends of Odin. 
You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. <laughs> 